Black soldier fly larvae will actually harvest themselves automatically. They do the hard work for us by separating themselves from the food waste. You can literally harvest larvae while you are sleeping and not doing a bit of work. All you have to do is wake up each morning and check out what's in your collection bin. This is the reason why. Black soldier fly larvae are one of the most popular insects to breed for producing high protein animal feed, especially with DIY larva bins. They have this amazing mechanism designed right into them so that when they reach the pre-pupa stage, they will actually leave their food source in search of a safe place to pupate, where they will eventually emerge as a fly. This is typically done using ramps that the larva can crawl up from within a ground level compost bin. But what if you're stacking your bins vertically to save on space? Won't the larva just crawl out of their containers and find their way to freedom, leaving you no harvest at all? Actually, you can still get the larva to harvest themselves from within stacked bins, and one of the methods is nested containers. Let me show you. The key to this method is to observe the larva growth within your bins until they start darkening in color, which indicates they are entering the pre-pupa stage and you can start preparing your nested containers. When I plan to use the nested container method, I will proactively prepare a bin with pre-sifted cocoa core using a three millimeter sieve. I then line the outer edge of my larva bin with this sifted cocoa core and then nest my inner bin inside so that there is a small gap left for the larva to drop through as they climb out of the inner bin. Then I add my larva and food waste and simply wait. I could wait for days if I would like and the larva will just bury themselves in the cocoa core and wait until I have the time to do a final sieving where I will collect the pre-pupa and prepare them for my fly cages. Now, if you have seen my previous video on pest control, you will know that I use mesh lids on my larva bins to prevent house flies and fruit flies from laying eggs in my food waste. Well, because my nested bins are about the same height, I can continue using my mesh lids as the pre-pupa harvest themselves and it doesn't bother them one bit. This is actually really helpful because it means I don't have to have a custom setup for harvesting pre-pupa. And these nested bins will fit neatly onto my larva racks along with all my other larva bins that are holding larva at different stages of growth. It's important to know that if your food waste is too dry or if the walls of your inner container are too steep, you may need to add a quick spray of water to help your pre-pupa escape from your inner container. But that only takes a few seconds to do and then you can sit back and watch the great larva migration from your inner bin into your outer collection bin. It's just one of the most satisfying parts of raising BSF larva. As a side note, this is not the only way to use nested containers when rearing black soldier fly larvae in bins. It's been extremely helpful for me to have a variety of bin sizes so I can put nested bins together in different configurations. Smaller bins have allowed me to adjust the container size I use based on the amount of larvae I have at any given stage of their growth. However, once the larvae mature and reach the pre-pupa stage, that's when I place them in a large nested container so that they can separate themselves automatically from the food waste in their bin. The key here is to have some sort of dry media, in my case it's cocoa core, that keeps the larva contained in the outer bin once they climb out of the inner bin. The larva will then bury themselves in the dry media and then wait to be sifted at the farmer's convenience. Wait a second, I think that makes me a farmer. Yeah, I'm an insect farmer. Cool. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.